To draw a line with specific horizontal and vertical distances, you need to tell RealCAD those distances. To do this, you use X, Y and Z coordinates, and these are shown in the top right hand corner of the screen. This is known as the coordinates bar. To draw a horizontal line of a specific length, start a freehand line by selecting the Insert Line command and click where you want the line to start. Then press X on the keyboard. This moves RealCAD's focus to the X field of the coordinates bar up here. Type the length you want, in this case 500. The Y field is automatically set to 0, so press Enter and the line is drawn. To draw a vertical line from this point, press Y on the keyboard. This moves RealCAD's focus to the Y field of the coordinates bar up here. Type the length you want, in this case 150. The X field has been automatically set to 0 this time, so press Enter and the line is drawn. Typing a positive value for X will always draw a line going to the right, and a positive value for Y will always draw a line going up. You can remember this by looking at the work plane symbol shown here in the bottom left hand corner of the screen which shows you the positive directions of the X and Y axes. To draw lines going to the left or down, simply type a minus sign in front of the number. Z is not relevant here because it's only used in 3D modeling. Let's continue and draw a rectangle. To draw the horizontal line going to the left, press X on the keyboard. To move the focus to the Y coordinate, type minus 500 and press Enter. To draw the vertical line going down, press Y on the keyboard to move the focus to the Y coordinate, type minus 150 and press Enter. Click your right mouse button to stop drawing that series of lines and the rectangle is finished. You can of course also draw lines that are not purely horizontal or vertical. For example, to draw a line that has a horizontal distance of 300 and a vertical distance of 150, click where you want the line to start, press X on the keyboard to move the focus to the X coordinate, type 300, press the space bar or tab key to jump to the Y coordinate, type 150, then press enter and the line is drawn. The horizontal distance of this line is 300, the vertical distance of this line is 150. To draw a line from here up and to the left, press X on the keyboard to move the focus to the X coordinate and type minus 300. The value is negative because the line is going to the left Press the spacebar or tab key to jump to the Y coordinate and type 150. This value is positive because the line is going up. Press enter to draw the line and click your right mouse button to stop drawing further lines. Using this technique, lines can be drawn of any length in any direction if you know the horizontal and vertical distances. These horizontal and vertical distances are also known as the X and Y components or coordinates of the line. The little green padlocks on the coordinates bar are used to lock one or more of the coordinates to help you draw. A green padlock means the coordinate is unlocked. A red padlock means the coordinate is locked, although the actual images change as well, so it looks locked or unlocked. The padlocks can be used to constrain your freehand lines to be only vertical or horizontal. For example, to draw a horizontal line from this point 
to end level with this point, first snap here to start the line. Then press Y on the keyboard to move the focus to the Y coordinate. If the Y coordinate is not automatically set to zero, set it to zero. Then click on the green padlock next to the Y coordinate. The padlock turns red and closes, indicating that the Y coordinate is now locked at zero, which means the vertical distance of the line will be zero and it will be a horizontal line. The rubber band attached to your crosshair is now constrained horizontally. To draw the line, simply snap to the other end of the existing line. Click your right mouse button to stop drawing lines. And be sure to unlock the red padlock when you've finished. The same can be done for a vertical line, but you lock the X coordinate to zero instead. To draw a vertical line from this corner, to end level with this point, first snap to the corner with the snapping square, then press X on the keyboard to move the focus to the X coordinate. If the X coordinate is not automatically set to zero, set it to zero. Then click on the green padlock next to the X coordinate. The padlock turns red and closes, indicating that the X coordinate is now locked at zero, giving only vertical lines. The rubber band attached to your crosshair is now constrained vertically. To draw the line, snap to the end of this line, and the line is drawn. Click your right mouse button to stop drawing lines. And don't forget to unlock the padlock. That completes this tutorial.